just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graving Here go Ravens and Odell Beckham Jr. Just messing with our heads yet again Now, and they know what they're doing too Both of them know what they're doing Odell Beckham Jr., um, he has been making himself right at home as a, a Baltimore Raven. You saw the other night he was at the fight, and when Tank won, he went and signed his jersey and gave it to him, his Ravens jersey, that number three. Um, we saw that he was practicing uh, the park height struck, so he's he ready for when he's – oh, man, it's, it's going to go crazy. When he scored that first touchdown – and not even just the first touchdown at an away game. Hey, and I mean, if the first game is an away game, go off. Score as many touchdowns as you want to, Odell. But that first touchdown at M&T Bank Stadium, it's going to be different, man. It's going to be different because he's going to be a member of the Ravens. Remember last time he scored a touchdown uh, as a member of the Rams, he did the bird flu. So, but now it'll be, the, it'll be in, in more respect. And I'm sure Odell Beckham Jr. didn't know the, the, the whole story behind it. So I'm sure he didn't do it in a disrespectful way. But anyway, Odell Beckham Jr., they know what they're doing, man. He know what he's doing. Um, because yesterday uh, he had posted a part of Drake's song, Middle of the Ocean. And the, the part that he, you know, you know what you're doing, Odell. We know what you're doing. But he posted the part that said, you would think we live in Baltimore the way they raving about the latest product. And by the way, that was one of my favorite Drake bars, stanzas, whatever, because right before that, he talked about um, we got more big bins than the Steelers. And then he was like, Robert Kraft flew out. He flew out the, uh, what do you say? He flew out the jet to us. That was patriotic. Then he went to the Ravens bar. I was like, oh, oh. But anyway, he knew what he was doing because one, initially when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, cool. But he put the little zip. The zip lip emoji. I said, hold up, old there. What, what, what you trying to do? But then on top of that, that wasn't even a kicker. Then the Ravens. The Ravens, they quote tweeted that with the little eyes emojis. And one could think like, oh, man, what are you talking about? They just, that's not anything. No, 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 no. You know it's something. But what could it be? Before, um, there was a lot of hype, like about a week ago, a week and change ago, uh, when all this DeAndre Hopkins news started floating around. A lot of us were hyped. We were excited. We were just like, oh, let's go. Come on. Let's make it happen, baby. Let's get it. But then it quieted down. It didn't go away, but it quieted down. So a lot of people were thinking, all right, well, maybe something may happen a little closer to draft night or possibly even on draft night. We'll see. Um, so, I mean, we only got a couple days left. It's, right, it's literally right around the corner, right around the corner. So we'll see what happens with that. But I think, um, like we talked about in yesterday's video about J.K. Dobbins, this time that we're in right now, with it being draft week, the draft literally two and a half days away, two days away and change. Um, the, the draft week is a, is a time where a lot of people have, they, they, they have reflection time. They, have, uh, they go down memory lane. And if I take you back, we ain't even got to go far. We ain't even got to go far. We'll just go back to last year, memory lane. If you recall, last year, um, the Baltimore Ravens, it was announced on, in, during round one of the draft. It wasn't announced before that. It wasn't announced after. It, round one of the draft, that's when it was announced that the Ravens, they traded Hollywood Brown to the Cardinals, and they end up receiving a first-round pick for Hollywood Brown. And they said, uh, we didn't hear about anything until after the fact. We didn't hear about nothing. We didn't get any. Well, we got little signs, like when, when Hollywood scraped everything, all his Raven stuff off of social media. We saw that, but then it was like, oh, okay, well, maybe he needed, just needed a little break, needed a little detox from the season or whatnot, but no, that, that, that was the confirmation. And I mean, last year, too, like last year was the, the confirmation that when players scrape their social media of a team, then something's getting ready to happen. Because that last year was when Kyler Murray scraped everything, wiped all his Cardinal stuff off of social media. Boom, he got a deal after that. Hollywood scraped all his Raven stuff off of social media. Boom, he ended up getting traded. 
And now this this off season, Patrick Queen, he done scraped all his stuff off of social media. We'll see what happens with that. But anyway, we we'll worry about Patrick Queen in a little bit. Actually, I mean Patrick Queen could have something to do with draft night, possibly. But anyway, um, last last year Hollywood he got traded and it was announced on the night of the the first round of the draft. And this whole thing was like planned out like crazy because. Once it was announced, like, Hollywood was there that same night. He was there. He showed up in Arizona that same night. Like, it, it, it was like he was a surprise entrance in, in, in the Royal Rumble or something like that. He was like, okay, hey, who's coming out at number 30? Oh, it's Hollywood Brown. And he just showed up. And a lot of us were like, wow, wow they, they really playing this thing out, huh? And then come to find out that this deal had been agreed upon already for weeks. But they just hadn't made it official. But they had already agreed upon it. So it was already set in stone. So I say all that to say this. I wonder if the Ravens have an, another type of deal like that. That's already just sitting there. But they just didn't push it through to the league office yet. Eric DeCosta talked to, to Cardinals new GM. I can't remember his name right now, so my apologies. But he talked to Cardinals new GM. It was like, hey. Or anybody else. Let, let me let me not just say Cardinals GM because I'm I'm just thinking about DeAndre Hopkins, DeAndre Hopkins, DeAndre Hopkins. But it could be somebody else too, because we've seen it before when these swerves will happen. These oh well, well well I didn't see that coming, and especially with the Baltimore Ravens. But hey hey, hey. if it is for DeAndre Hopkins, I ain't gonna be mad. I ain't gonna be mad. I ain't gonna be mad at all. Like, and no complaint out of me. If it's for DeAndre, oh, yeah. Oh, do your thing, Ravens. But whatever it is, um, I am expecting something of significance. I really am. Uh, there's been so many rumors that have just been flying around like crazy. So many. I'm sure y'all have heard every single last one of them. But these rumors just been circulating and the the funny part about them is that so many of them are, are circulating about the same people the same people continue to be rumored about when it came comes to the baltimore ravens the names that we hear the most um obviously deandre hopkins uh but also patrick queen and, and not even that the two are linked in the same rumor sometimes they are sometimes they're not but we hear so much about it from so many different people we see it floating around on Twitter like every single day. I see different Ravens fans coming up with trade packages. Different Ravens fans. I see people on Twitter say, oh, I heard this. Or I heard that. Oh, you won't believe what I've been hearing, baby. So we'll see. We'll see if all this smoke, where all this smoke is, that some fire ends up coming from it. Um, but only time will tell. But one thing that is nice to know that we don't have to wait much, much more time. We don't have to wait for much more time or for much more longer uh, until we actually hear something official. Uh, because, again, the draft is right around the corner. So, I mean, I would love, love to hear something today. I would love if this, uh, if Ravens and Odell Beckham Jr., them doing that little flirting and stuff. Well, it ain't flirting no more because they're together. They together. Remember, remember all them relationship analogies that we talked about before, with the Ravens being interested in the Odell Beckham Jr. The Ravens really putting themselves out there for that girl that they were interested in, and that being Odell Beckham Jr. Not calling him a girl, nothing, obviously not. But remember all that. But the Ravens, they finally got her. They put themselves out there, and they they find they closed the deal, and now it's like the honeymoon stage. Because the, the first the first year, the honeymoon stage is, oh, babe, babe, I love you, and then they all going back and forth with each other. But it's, and, and the honeymoon stage will continue because once the season gets here, that, that's going to be lovely. We can't wait. Um, but now do they have somebody else that they're interested in? Do they have somebody else that they want to close the deal on? Or possibly, again, maybe the deal is already closed. Maybe it's already agreed upon. We'll see soon. Team Keep It Clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And, hey, we out. Y'all be good. <laughs>
we playing football. Okay. Huh? I'm a fanatic. Uh-huh. You see, we got the magic. Hey, yeah, my boys are savage and open challenge and madden. <laughs> Let's go. Make him rage quit. Exit out the door. Exit out the door. Yeah.